Coming to you from the Strack and Van Til Studios. This is your 219 News Now. Strack and Van Til, making customers' lives easier for 93 years. Hi, I'm Sonny Santana, and this is your 219 News Now. Porter County police say a 49 year old Crown Point man faces felonies after bloodying a woman he knows pointing an AR-15 at her and threatening her life. Police said they went to the 1400 block of Happy Valley Road after a 911 hang-up in which they heard a woman crying. Another person contacted police saying the woman had texted to call 911. James Rolinski faces domestic battery in the presence of a minor, strangulation, intimidation, and pointing a weapon. Monsignor Joseph Samanchik of Whiting Robertsdale celebrated the 70th anniversary of his first mass as a priest. He gathered with close friends and family at St. John the Baptist Catholic Church, where he was baptized 94 years ago. There's nobody more local than good old Joe, he said of himself. Samanchik, who has received a Sagamore of the Wabash, said he's most proud of his role at Hospice of the Calumet area. Lake County again tops the state's unemployment rate after slipping out of the first two spots for the first time in years. The region jobless rate, which encompasses Lake, Porter, Newton, and Jasper counties, rose one-tenth of one percent to five percent in March. The rate of unemployment was 4.9 percent the previous month and 4.4 a year ago. LaPorte County ranked sixth and Porter County 17th among state counties. And in sports, Andrean Grad and former PNW baseball standout Kevin McCune has bowling in his blood. His father Eugene is a three-time PBA title winner. His grandfather, Don, won eight and was once player of the year. Now, 24-year-old Kevin has something no one in his family does, a major bowling title. The Munster resident won the Players' Championship, taking home the $100,000 prize and qualifying for this weekend's Super Slam Cup. To read up more on these stories, head to NWI.com. I'm Sonny Santana, and this was your 219 News Now.